Let's say that your enterprise uses SAP system. Then let's also say that most of its revenue is generated simply by selling furniture. And because we are in the 21st century, it has an online store. One of your customer, let's call him John, has recently bought a new place to live in. So naturally, after some planning, John wants to go online and order some furniture and decorations for his new home. He opens his browser, goes to your website, looks for the products he's interested in buying and adds them to his carts. Then he checks out. His overall shopping experience was really great. But then, a couple hours later, John has yet to see his order confirmation. And after another couple of hours, John is starting to worry. The money is gone from his account, but he doesn't see any confirmation or date of shipping. And the reason for that is pretty trivial. The SAP API connecting your webshop to your SAP s system didn't work as it was intended, and the sales orders were not posted at all. And now, because of this very reason, thousands of your e-commerce transactions are not getting processed correctly. Simply because one of the SAP APIs between two systems, it's not working properly. You can argue that from the business continuity standpoint, there is nothing worse for a large enterprise than losing the ability to sell, to buy or to ship. Even one hour of downtime like that could generate losses that we would have to count in millions of dollars. All those important business processes like buying, selling or shipping are probably dependent on your company's SAP integration and its quality. That is the reality of the SAP integration. Your company's most important business processes are probably dependent on it. And while the upside of integrating, for example, your systems or your partners together with your SAP system is now obvious to many companies because of how much more efficient this makes their daily operations, there is one important thing that is not being considered enough. And that thing is testing your SAP integrations. Because if you're going to make your enterprise so dependent on the integrations, you should prioritize testing them simply to make sure that they actually work and that your business will not be disrupted. So let's ask the big question. If the SAP integration is so crucially important, why testing is still so overlooked even by some of the largest enterprises in the world? And while there is definitely not single definite answer, let me make a couple of suggestions. First of all, there is a general lack of recognition because as users or customers, the integration is best when we cannot notice it. And that might be part of the reason why we even as professionals, we tend not to think about it, to demonstrate it. Think back to the last time when you wanted to make purchase online and for some reason you faced a technical issue that made it impossible to place an order. Maybe there was an error when you wanted to view your card, or maybe the payment somehow didn't go through. It's frustrating. But if you're anything like an average buyer, you might have not even considered that it is due to the fact of the integration issue on behalf of your vendor. And this very lack of mental availability can sometimes lead to underestimation of the risk. So the same thing that slightly frustrates you when you're doing online shopping can be the same that will make your business more challenging in the future. But of course, not every integration issue is a life or death scenario for your business. And there are some issues that the user might not even be aware of, which is a second reason why testing SAP integration is overlooked. Because sometimes there is no immediate feedback, especially if you consider asynchronous APIs, where in the edge case situations, the issue can be discovered only after a few hours or even days, because everything might be working fine in the user interface. So in the place that the user sees, but the fact that you don't see a problem 
doesn't mean that it's not there. The other common assumption is that once the systems are connected with each other and are functioning, they will continue to do so indefinitely without any issues, which leads enterprises to a conclusion that it's only important to test integration during the initial deployment and that it doesn't require ongoing testing. To which I'd have to say, be careful. Today, there are more and more integration and applications every day, especially with the trends like best of reads application. Cloud systems and applications have lots of benefits, but on the other side of the coin, even a simple update, so-called minor update, can have significant ripple effects on the integration. Simply imagine that your vendor who's managing customer data did a minor change to the API and change the data structure slightly that results in a wrong mappings in your middleware platform. This seemingly slight change has its consequences in every other step of the order to cache process. The order confirmation will be created with the wrong data on it, the invoice might be invalid, or maybe the order will be shipped to the wrong address. Not to mention the situation where you would actually like to make some changes to the integration. If testing challenges are stopping you from innovating, this is a whole another conversation. And last but not least, testing SAP integration is still overlooked because of its complexity. Your SAP system is probably connected with hundreds or thousands of partners and systems. And many of them will be outside of your control because they are third parties. And those systems or partners are sometimes connected with each other, making the whole operations just that much harder to properly test. So the fear of disrupting the existing process or lack of understanding of the system's intricacies may lead to the testing being seen as complex, costly and time-consuming activity. And if we pair that with the lack of specialized testing tools available on the market and the sheer setup of existing solution, it's quite understandable. But at INT4, we strive to change that, introducing the INT4 Suite, a powerful testing tool that allows you to test your SAP integration easier and faster while increasing the testing coverage and the system quality. And testing SAP environments is our bread and butter because INT4 Suite is a tool made exclusively for those and is being used by some of the SAP biggest customers in the world. With INT4 Suite, you can leverage your historical data to create thousands of high quality test cases and then simulate your partners and third party systems to quickly retest thousands of APIs. So if you'd like to increase your level of confidence in your SAP integration, click the link below to learn more about how you can use int for suite in your SAP projects or for the purpose of continuous testing in business as usual. And if you know someone who you would like to appreciate the business value of SAP integration and its proper testing a little bit more, make sure to send the link to this video to them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.